Hey everyone, Nam here again, back to do the, my weekly NFL predictions. This time doing the Week 16 segment for the 2021 season. Just to recap real quick, I went 9-7, and seven, not too great of a week, obviously. Uh, some surprises, Arizona uh, dropping a game to Detroit. Uh, that allowed, uh, well, Green Bay. Uh, I don't know if that game allowed, well, it allowed Green Bay to take the number one seed, but Green Bay also in the process clinched their division for the third, third straight year. Uh, so Packers are basically in control of their own destiny at the moment, uh, with several games left. And another shocker, uh, the way Tampa Bay lost, I think they are like one and three or one and four since, uh, last year. The only one coming in the playoffs against the Saints. And, uh, let's see, Tennessee was out in front of the Steelers for a while, but, just couldn't seal the deal. Uh, you know, their offense just couldn't get anything going. And that's been a problem with Tannehill all year. So, and then New England, uh, it might be a shocker, but they just got controlled and handled by Indianapolis pretty well. So, um, so interesting things went on. Uh, so, like I said, 9-7. and seven. Uh, Let's start with Thursday night's game between San Francisco versus Tennessee. Something wants to tell me to take San Francisco in this. Uh, and I, th I think I will. Might regret it, might not. Just the way Tennessee is, they've, they've been different. Uh, the whole process, losing Derrick Henry, and then they bring in Adrian Peterson, but then they drop him. He could have been like a mentor to some of the other running backs. And Tannehill just hasn't been uh, impressing me like he was last year. And then Julio Jones uh, being out and, uh, AJ Brown being out, that doesn't help matters any better. So I guess we'll go with the, the 49ers right here. Cleveland versus Green Bay. I'm going to go with Green Bay. That's a Saturday night game. Uh, Aaron Rodgers put in another good performance. I believe he had or was very close to 300 yards and I believe another four touchdown passing game. Uh, or maybe it might've been three because I believe AJ Dillon had a run running touchdown. But nevertheless, another solid performance by Aaron Rodgers. Uh, you know, just uh, I, I think this is the year that Green Bay really might get over the hump and reach the Super Bowl like once more with Rodgers under center. Uh, Indianapolis versus Arizona. I would like to think that I know the answer to this. That Arizona will rebound both Indianapolis. How uh, they played pretty well. Uh, kind of makes me go back and forth but we're going with Arizona in this spot uh big matchup that's big two bit two big games you know because these Green Bay and Arizona are fighting for that number one seed and the bye in the first round Detroit versus Atlanta I'm going to say Detroit's uh you know <laughs> they're I'm going to say that they don't really Go on a two-game win streak. I'll just keep it simple as that. And Atlanta takes the game here. Philadelphia versus New York Giants. I'm going to go with Philly uh, in this one. That they and they take advantage to maybe fight fight for that final wild card spot and be in good position to take that. Jacksonville versus New York Jets. I want to go with the Jets here. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Carolina. Uh, Tampa Bay, I say, will bounce back and win this one pretty handily. With all the quarterback problems in Carolina and, you know, I, I the receivers have been, you know, uh, uneasy, uneasy with the, the whole thing, especially since it going back to even Sam Darnold. Uh, nothing has really changed. Cam Newton has a one decent week, and then after that really hasn't done so much. And then Walker, when he comes in there, he's no better. So uh, I got I to gotta give this uh, to Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Chargers versus Houston, I got to go with Chargers. Too many offensive weapons there with Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, and Keenan Allen. Uh, Buffalo versus New England, we're going to go with New England, and they bounce back, and I think they'll shut down Buffalo. Rams versus Minnesota, I think this could be a shootout. Uh, but, yeah, Minnesota's <clears throat> indoors, so the weather shouldn't have any effect. Something tells me Minnesota might win this game. And we will go with Minnesota that, there. Um, watch out for the matchup of, you know, receivers, both teams. Uh, Justin Jefferson and, for the Vikings and Cooper Cup for the Rams. Uh, Baltimore versus Cincinnati. I got to go with uh, 
Baltimore had a chance to win two straight weeks, and then John Harbaugh goes for the two point conversion two straight weeks and misses. Uh, it's not any of the players' fault. I mean, they've been fighting. They're shown that they're a, cont- I think, a playoff contender. But if they keep, especially John Harbaugh keeps shooting himself in the foot, might be finding himself out of a playoff spot. Um, got to wonder what the maybe the morale might be in that locker room. Uh, Cincinnati, I think, is coming off a win. Uh, trying to look for that right here. Who did they beat? Yeah, they, they beat Denver. So, I mean, that was a good win at Mile High Stadium. We're going to go with Cincinnati here on this spot. It just, I think it favors them really well, especially this late in the season when you're against a division. Uh, opponent trying to fight for a playoff spot. Chicago versus Seattle. I'm going to go with Seattle right here. I'm going to say Russell Wilson has a pretty good game as well, uh, throwing the ball and uh, even on his feet too. Uh, Denver versus Raiders. We're going to go with the Raiders here in this spot. Pittsburgh versus Kansas City. I think Pittsburgh will actually control or contain Patrick Mahomes for the most part. I'm going with the Chiefs, but I think it will be – I'm going to say a low-scoring game uh, for this matchup, and it's going to be come down to the defenses and who makes maybe some of the some key stops. But I got to go with Kansas City; they are on a roll. They're the number one seed currently in the AFC. But I got I got to say Pittsburgh will. Uh, I mean, past two weeks uh, they beat playoff teams that were in playoff positions. So you got to wonder, you know, Pittsburgh is also going to be riding that high as well. Washington versus Dallas. I'm going to go with Dallas, but you got to uh, – Cowboys fans got to hope for, on the offensive side, Prescott being smart with the ball and not making uh, turnovers. And then on the defense side, you got Micah Parsons, who you can ar- make an argument not to be, only being the defensive rookie of the year, but maybe the def- defensive player of the year. And he shows up, uh, you know, I'm not a Cowboys fan, but I, 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 I'm a Penn State fan, and I'm always glad and happy to see – uh, any Penn Stater succeed in the NFL. And then you got Monday night's game, Miami versus New Orleans. We'll go with New Orleans here. I think they're just a bit of a better team, and they're going to be fighting like they're in a desperation mode, where Miami, I think, is going to be kind of chill, laid-back approach because they're going to be probably buying for a, I don't know, maybe a top-five pick in next year's NFL draft. So those are my picks for Week 16. Feel free to let me know where you're agreeing, disagreeing. With that said, as always, I'm Nam. And always use a noodle. And by the way, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone.